Gracers. We got Fast Fruit Fran, who's fast fruit been on a tear as a submitter. Uh, I've really adored Fast Fruit Man's uh, submissions, uh, but has also been gaming. Uh, to get to this point, I believe this is our third round. That's three. I'll... Losers three. Uh, that means that both these racers, whoever comes out of this, will at least be 50%. And whoever does more than this is going to be over a 50% run rate. So both of them are doing well. I do not know much about Dragus, and I don't actually think I've seen their previous races, which is rare for me because I've seen most of them. Uh, but I do like the uh, the picture. Do you know where that's from? The left one, though. No. Yeah. I do know where the right one's from. It's a lemon, but it's going really fast. Uh, yeah. Uh, hey, what is unfortunately, this image? I don't. This game has like an image, and I've never seen this image before, and that's surprising for reasons that it's we're going to get into. It's incredibly surprising. I I just want to talk about this game, but we'll give it another minute. Uh. Yeah, so this is going to be Losers 3, and basically the idea where we're at at this point in the tournament is everybody who's in Losers 3 or or further has had good success. Everybody's going to be going into this game at least 2-1, and because uh, it's double elimination, two losses would mean you're, you're, you're out. And everybody's won at least one game. People who are put into winners 2, like Dragus, might have only won one game, but Frasperman's already won his 2. Looking at the games, I know all the games that Fast Women's played. I submitted Billy's Blockbuster, that was the Math Sokoban. Got Hello Kitty's Flower Shop, which was a platformer where you could change the platformers, but was also Hello Kitty. And then Fourth Wall, which I think was a previous top eight game where you could move the walls around. Basically a good uh, variance. Uh, though I think the two that Fast Women won were platformers. So if today's a platformer, maybe they'll do well. Looking at Dragus' side, that's the reason. I think I have only missed a few races, and both of them might have been Dragus's. Uh, is Fortune Star Panic the one that Dragus almost beat a Kami on, pushing blocks around? Never heard of this game. Hmm. I think it, I think that was a ice blocky Sokoban sort of like, and Dragus really put the uh, the pressure on Okami of Games, who got third last. Uh, that's not a bad loss, given how close that game was. Uh, I think this is going to be a close match. No matter what the game we have is pulled. You know this game well, I believe. Yeah, we can have a look. The game is called Order of Twilight. I made this, smile. And submitted it. Oh yeah. So for my first empty, I just sip into my own games. Pretty easy. Beautiful noise. Put this in the game, I regret it now. I regret it even more now. Alright, we're starting. So this image, like the, the cover art, which isn't the cover art because I made this game, and this is not my image. Where did this come from? I think this is also our first My Little Pony uh, adventure that we've had this MT. Oh, no. There's a lot of uh, pony games and fan games about. Alright, so, uh, Out of Twilight is a 2012 game, maybe 13, where you are a pony, and you have these boxes at the bottom. When you hit the arrow keys, you will fill them with arrows, and specific combinations make specific spells. There's a spell book, you can open it with Q, and it'll tell you, for example, right, right, up, fire laser to the right. Oh, it's down, down, right. What do I know? And then we got yeah. we get news like pages of our spellbook or whatever, which will allow us to cast longer spells. So it's very much a game about like puzzle solving and memorization. Also quick entry these spells. So right, yeah, right, right the... up teleport. A nice little circle is presumably 
gonna be a big jump. Uh, the circle is gonna be a box. And I cast oh, create cube. Can't stand too close to the wall. I think three is still on it. And then use the and then use the teleport to actually get through. Uh, you you can or jump. Yeah. yeah, teleport doesn't reach far enough. I think. So for this, you can either jump and laser, or you can jump and teleport. Yeah, to note, the pace spin is very short. Uh, the You're good. racers are either going to want to memorize the spells quickly, or they're going to be going back to the spell book, which is just uh, obvious time loss, and they're going to not want to do it. It looks like they figured out the attack one pretty quickly, though. The up, 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 down. Uh, yeah, that's like a shockwave attack. A little bit different from the laser. We got left, down, up, right, right, which up time. And allows things unless you pause them while they're down. You're a game developer. Why do game devs put enemies in boxes that can never be reached? In order to show you that the enemy will stop moving when Ah, oh, that makes sense in this case. I do feel like sometimes d developers just do it for the sake of it, but that makes total sense in this example. Oh, here's my uh, favorite spells. Playing, yeah. Uh, VVVV or Gravity Mover or whatever. It may have come out before VVV. Not sure. But yeah, you can change direction to any... Character normally have access to spells. Yes, Twilight Sparkle is a unicorn, which means you can use her unicorn magic. So when you made this game back in 2012, 2013, was this a game where at that time you were interested in My Little Ponies, or was it because a lot of people would play it simply because it's My Little Ponies? Nah, I don't, I don't have... I don't need to hate her to... I think. Uh, this was made for My Little Pony Game Jam. In a weekend. Nice. Made in 48 hours. But the spell book trouble. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Ah, so we right. did come out before this. Oh yeah, so right, right, down, down, up, look on us invisible. Basically, which means in the Yes, I think we've already got like 10 spells. And I'm assuming that at some point you're going to stop tutorializing new spells and they're going to have to just figure out which spell they want to use. Yeah, pretty much. That's going to get pretty tough. Uh, just racers have a habit, even in a game where they only give them two or three options to just overuse one that they think is the best. When given ten options, I don't... Th I, there's going to be a spell that they just forget about that would be the best oh, nice. spell in in certain situations. But this level is funny because you can walk over the top. Like a an unintended mechanic. But you you can just jump over the level. A Mario the, one two if you will. You can ignore all of this. Now the section that uh Dragos is on, Fast Fruitman did it first try, but it's pretty tricky. Uh what you really want to do is teleport. Oh yeah, there we go. Just now. Last Fruitman is still two levels be uh, ahead now. You cannot walk over the level in your gravity. I did consider that, but I didn't consider that you can just walk over there. <laughs> it's double gravity. Er teleport, it goes the way the unicorn's facing, right? Uh, there's a right teleport and a left teleport, but I'm not sure. I, I think it's actually both of them will teleport you in the way you're facing. In the spot that Fast Fruitman's in, he's using the gravity, and I'm not 100% confident either in my belief or that they necessarily believe that they can teleport through if they're facing mm. their if their hooves are on the right wall. Mm. I think they're going to have problems. You know, I that, think they were fine, one. maybe, if they're upside down. 
So maybe the secret here is just teleport through the spikes entirely. Uh, that way you're just facing the right direction when you get there. I think you can just walk on the ceiling here and teleport, right? Yeah, they, they did walk on the ceiling for a moment there earlier and... Right, I can confirm that, that worked. Spell. Not the teleport spell either. Like, half the laser spell. There we go. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, good laser. So you can laser, you can, uh, an invisibility. Maybe you can insert the shockwave fast enough. Yeah, uh, I was a bit concerned that Fast Fruitman was just going to overuse the shockwave because it's kind of more flexible than the laser, but it only does like half the damage. So having the laser down, especially in spots where it's. Oh, Ooh. that's awful. Fast Fruitman jumps too high. And. Object glitches through the ceiling. Love to see it. 48 hours, guys. Yeah. <laughs> no judgment here. I did manage to include a challenge mode, which I'm pretty happy with. I like the, uh, the Dragus strategy of just making sure that their teleport's gonna work. Oh, 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 just a little too slow, and also the rock spell. Laser is down, down, right, not right, right up. Can you teleport through enemies? Sure. Yeah. So most spells work as long as he isn't like flipping into the spikes or something. Uh, uh, Swiftman uh, chooses not to teleport. That lasers twice. It was pretty impressive, but I think a teleport would have been smarter. So in this oh, level, yeah. if you're upside down and you create a box, the box will fall up. But you so... can... But you can also just like... Yeah, here we go. Or, yellow. Uh, so, Fast Fruitman might find it if they're just standing on this platform and happen to spawn a box. I think they're trying to like switch gravity fast enough, but they're also in inserting the wrong arrow first. So the first yeah. arrow is where gravity will go. Oh, nice. Woo! Nice. The problem with this is like this is a really good strategy to get through it once. This is not a good strategy if you have to come through this and do it multiple times. Uh, just because we and we don't know what the rest of this particular level is. This These spikes don't look particularly friendly. These enemies don't look particularly friendly. And I don't want to have to see Fast Fruitman try and input the double teleport uh, over and over again. Because I think they're just going to not have a high success rate. I think the obvious solution or, is invisibility. Which is not one we've memorized. Right, right, down, down, up. Looks like we're going to. Oh no, oh no! <laughs> Inserts down three times. Oh, uh, Dragos found the, that the boxes will affect your gravity. In general, we don't have enough typing games in, uh, in Mystery Tournament. And while this isn't, like, typing words, you're not getting your, uh, your true, like, typing skills shown. It is, like, six inputs done immediately. Pretty close to it, and I'm happy happy to see this. Good submission, Maurice. I made this smile. Hey, there we go. Uh, this may be For the all... last level. Really? Pretty short I game. Okay. Uh, we are at 10 minutes on the clock. To remind everybody, if both racers finish before 15 minutes, then the race is deemed too short, and uh, that would result in a redraw. Uh, given Crash Fruitman is either one level ahead or is like twice as close to the finish as Dragus, Ooh. I can see this going either way. Jumping from the bottom of the breakable block is a bad idea. I don't have. I wouldn't suspect that the players think that they are close to the finish. Good, Regus, what's the plan? I think you want to drop a box down there. If you stand on the middle pillar, okay. then drop a box. Oh, Dragus also finished the level when I wasn't paying attention, my bad. Yeah, this is almost perfectly tied. If, uh. Oh, Dragus. That's a good box. 
I can teleport. Okay, twilight. Oh, it doesn't teleport fast enough. Far enough. Fast food man just... Like... It's gotten really good at the double teleport. Oh. It's really good at the double teleport. They're able to do it consistently. Hmm. That looks suspicious. Okay. Can you... You can just walk across the ceiling. Jump here. But invisibility is a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is the end. So... Gragas has three minutes to finish. And I think they can definitely do it. Uh, uh we, we know that this is the end. Hey, look, it's all the ponies. <laughs> <laughs> it does a backflip. I don't know, I ran out of and time. Dragus has got two moves. One of them's pretty oh. straightforward. Ooh. That that was not uh, a good move. Yeah, the, the the last one being invisibility. No matter which direction the pony's facing, uh, should be pretty understandable. Uh, the finishes are coming in. Both fast fruit men and also, uh, we've got another finish from a friendly racer in Muware. Dragus knows that this is. If not close to the end, uh, like possible that they could be at the end, and I don't know how that's going to affect your your gameplay as it gets closer to 15. But I assume you start making more desperate moves. We know that they need to have at least like 20 seconds to just get to the credits so they can see the ponies doing flips. Yeah. Uh, but they might not know if this is even like the the last level or the penultimate, like real last level. Uh, this block's really good, but they need to get their laser going. And it's going to be a really tough timing. Good stuff. Now another, another they need to teleport. Teleport's going to be riskier, because if they teleport incorrectly, they'll teleport into the spikes. Go on, Twilight. Do some backflips. They can also just jump this, I think. They don't need to teleport. Okay. Invi oh, no! Invisi oh, oh, no! Get Scott! And now it's going to be tight. A minute and a half on the clock. I got about a minute of this to use uh, proper. And they know that they need to finish within 15. Uh, I think that was the... No, the box doesn't... Okay. Oh, this is bad. Regus has That's to like really create three boxes. To... Oh, no, this is wasting so much time! Has yeah, to like is... get rid of boxes. You can only have three on screen. So if if you create a bunch of boxes and throw them on the left side, they're gonna disappear from the right there. But oh my god! It's gonna come down to just the small pixel touch of that enemy. Uh, reset. Before they could uh, reset the level. Make the consideration. Oh, so yeah, you can do like a double teleport through this corridor. You're hardcore. I think the challenge okay. requires you to do that because the challenge mode in this game. It's like least amount of spells, and I think I require you to do that. Ah! Oh, it's not gonna be enough. Ah! Oh, runs into the oh, spike! That's. That's Perfect. GG. Oh, that's brutal. That was very close to being a redraw. It came down to just a oh, yeah, I forgot to them. little zombie guy uh, touching them before they had the ability to put in invisibility or jump back that I mean Dragos will find out here shortly was incredibly close uh, I think Fast Fruit Man does deserve the win either way no matter what was happening on Dragos' side they were very quick to finish and were impressive in doing so the teleport like the double teleport stuff that they were doing uh, looked like if you were to make a speed run and run this game on a regular basis, I think double teleport would be the sort of strategy you'd be seeing. And that Fast Furman found it and was able to use it on a regular basis, I think is definitely deserving of the W. And on that note, uh, welcome Fast Furman. Hello. How did you like the game? It was an incredibly good game. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Very I'll, good I'll ask too. How did you like the game, but coming from somebody who didn't literally make it? <laughs> it was alright. I, I I cannot remember all of them. I, I should be able to, but like... Yeah, a, a game that quick, is there's no chance of remembering. 
You only More played for like 12 minutes, and I don't blame you for not remembering all the spells. Uh, the spell that you were particularly proficient at, though, was the teleport. You were doing these double teleports all over the place. It looked like uh, the sort of strategy you'd see from like a full speed run. Uh, was that something that you were doing out of necessity, or did you feel like you were doing it because it was really quick? Uh, I didn't think very hard about um, about the puzzles, so I found something that worked and tried to do that. Um, so most, it felt like most of the rooms I did flipping gravity around once I discovered that. Um, but yeah, the teleport seemed like the way I was supposed to get over big gaps. Yeah, I think you had other options. Things like blocks uh, mm. would have also worked. Uh, we did actually see some of the uh, the issues with blocks there with Dragus. I do want to welcome you, Dragus, uh, to our Hi. chat. Uh, GG's to both of you. Uh, and I don't think you guys necessarily realize how close that was uh, to being redrawn. Uh, Dragus, that was the like final real level that you're on, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, but I got hit. I got too close at the end. What What was when you got too close? What was the instinctual game plan? Were you just trying to back off, or were going, you trying to put in visibility? I was trying to laser. Laser, okay. Because uh, I think if you had not been so close, like invisibility, I had was forgotten about that invisibility. We that, that, that that'll do it. Uh, remembering that Maurice is in the chat, but Maurice is also a, uh, a hard soul and will take any, uh, constructive criticism about a game he made ten years ago. Uh, did you enjoy the game? Dragons. It was okay. <laughs> uh, did you guys have a favorite ability, by the way? Uh, if I get used to how far the teleport takes you, probably that one. I say if I get used to, like, I'm gonna go back and play this more and more. I'm, you should! There's a I'll challenge honest, probably not. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, I always like games where you flip around gravity. So. Yeah, Maurice always complains about uh, people going into his, his games and going, hey, when are you gonna do an update? And I think this is definitely a game that there was more room for uh, level design because the abilities uh, were kind of, you learn them, you use them, and I think two or three levels where you weren't being tutorialized. Uh, yeah, they, they all felt quite straightforward, but also the sort of later levels were quite open, I think, in that you could do, you could do them a few different ways, which is probably good. Like I said, do you have a favorite toy? I don't think I got to get familiar with them. I think at some point I was, I was starting to have issues inputting spells because because of the whole mechanic of inputting spells. Yeah, it's curious. Uh, we were talking though briefly because it was a very quick race. You guys are very quick too, uh, in a quick game. So all was very quick, but. We were talking about there aren't too many keyboard games out there, and it felt like just watching you guys, both of you were pretty proficient at getting the, the spells in quickly for like one particular spell. Uh, Grass Fruitman, if, if you watched the replay, Dragus was doing like these double teleports that were very pretty. Uh, it wouldn't really have mattered because your goal was necessarily beat Grass Fruitman when you got the, the bell saying that he had finished. Uh, your goal was to beat the the 15 minute clock at some point, but uh, this was a fun race while short uh, to watch. And you guys kind of uh, destroyed a game that I think could definitely cause uh, a racer a lot more trouble because those last levels while open had a lot of spikes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with that. Because that was a really short race. Uh, we don't have a race unless people start early for a little bit. I believe uh, you guys were the first of three races we have coming. So we're not really kicking you out. Actually, if you have any uh, any additional thoughts you wanna you wanna add or more compliments to the dev, <laughs> we'll, we'll take. Uh, them. Not really. 
Um, oh. I, I tuned in at the at the end, and it said the challenge mode is fewest spells. Oh yeah, use as few spells as possible. Huh. Maybe maybe I'll have a run at that. That scares me. No, it was a, it was a fun race. What? In a challenge mode, what would your go-to's be? Just teleport and room flip a lot? You could probably do most rooms in like four or five spells. You just don't want to, like, laser enemies, I think is the, uh... Yeah. You just don't want to interact with the game. Which is kind of true in every speedrun, and in most Mr. Races, too. Well, sorry for yawning, but I think unless chat has anything that they're particularly uh, on about. Oh, they're just mentioning Sokoban. The boxes don't move. I, I was upset when I realized the boxes didn't move. <laughs> I'm sure I could push that. It doesn't I... help that th there, there wasn't a way to like get rid of them quickly. I don't hate the idea that Chad's kind of saying, Maurice, if you want to fill time, is just literally putting uh, a speedrun of this game on screen, because I just want to see how silly it gets. Uh, otherwise, we could... I don't think we have any, like, 20-minute podcasts or anything of that sort. Uh, yeah, no, we don't. And also the break video I have, the next one is 30 minutes. But that doesn't fit either. I really don't know. 30 minutes is probably fine if we start it, like, now, because... No. Uh, if they do the give game at on the hour, but... They're all, like, doing it early. Yeah, that's my fault. I, I asked at some point, like, hey, why don't we just, like, give game 10 minutes before so we're ready on the clock so it's easy to schedule? And then everybody just did that, and I went, oops. Apparently that wasn't just the uh, the proceedings beforehand. Oh, you guys all beat Teemo. That's uh, an impressive feat in itself. <laughs> this test. Uh, I've never seen this test of Ordos trailer. Pretty funny. Can recommend. I mean, nice. we're not going to go down for 20 minutes. Uh, uh, I think we are going to go down for any minute. Okay. Uh, well, uh, one last thing while I still have you, Fast Food Man. Your submissions have been uh, super fun to watch. I want to compliment you that uh, in a public space. I believe it was you who also submitted uh, Italian Job? That was me, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. I, that that I... was an unpopular race. No, <laughs> I, 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 I love it. By the racers, to yeah. be clear. Everyone racers, else yeah. loved it. <laughs> I Dance is long gone. I considered uh, submitting it, and then, and like was going through and what, kind of like unblinding myself just to like see if it's something that is worth submitting, which is always a weird thing when doing like pre-testing. And I just couldn't be bothered to play a driving game for an hour. Uh, so I'm so happy that you did it. It was better than I possibly could have thought. Uh, and. Did you, like, find a way to avoid the cops? Do you, does bobbing and weaving actually work if you just stop driving straight down roads? Do the cops lose and get lost? I was hopeless at avoiding the cops. I, I had to drive really far um, away and, like, round a corner to, to lose them. Um, so I, I played this through as a, as a blind race, uh, but the whole game. And yeah, I really struggled with the cops. How long does the game take? I did it in two hours forty-five. Okay. And I was about on par with the races finishing London, so that's probably you safe. Hear, you hear that, Boney? We got we got Fun Fest two coming up. We there's there's a fantastic mission in Turin where you have to go around and disable twenty security cameras on really quite a tight time limit. <laughs> You've got no real map. You just drive and hope. And, you and, and he the says the same voice line every time you disable a camera. He gets out and goes, <laughs> okay, next one. So you have to get out of the car to disable them too? I mean, it's it's like a cutscene, but yeah. 
Oh, it's miserable. Brilliant. I, I love it. I love this game. I will forewarn if you haven't played the game, it will be submitted in future Mr. Tournaments by <laughs> me or somebody else. So uh, protect yourself from Italian job in the madness that is that game. Uh, Maurice, if we're going to go down, we should probably do it now so we can actually have a real break and people can go grab lunch or whatever. Well, you've been talking. I mean, we, I can talk. Talking is not something that uh, is hard to do. What do we have scheduled coming up? Here, Lance Dragon versus Hecate. That should be about another even match. Everything that we're looking at is going to be losers 3 2, so. Uh, Tetsuya versus Shoe Horse. I'd give it to Tetsuya by a little bit. Those will be our two. I give it to Tetsuya up. by a lot. Yeah. Uh, ooh, Tapioca, some girl too. These are all, all good matches. Goodness. Uh, that's yeah, three matches today, right? Tapioca, some girl won't be as part of this stream, but it could be. If you, how many vodcasts you got? Lined enough. Up, Maurice? What? What? Enough. We could be here all day. Uh, that being said. We're not holding you hostage here, uh, Dragon's Crash Herdman. You guys are uh, already muted, but uh, we are gonna potentially be here for for a bit, and I could use the company. No, I'm gonna go offline. Oh, we're gonna go offline. Well, yeah, we'll be back in 20 minutes. Let's do that. Yeah. So, uh, come back here in 20 minutes for Lance Dragon versus Hectate. Unfortunately, I've got nothing. Little water hour. I have to look at the podcasts like you the ones I haven't downloaded to see if maybe there's something fitting in the future. But for now, we're gonna go down. We will be back in 19 minutes. And Strago versus Hectate, don't miss it.